Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, fight fans, we have a sport to save, right? The people running boxing are just letting promotional opportunity after promotional opportunity pass by the wayside, right? Right now, there is a big scandal, right? There's a storm brewing on the horizon. Floyd Mayweather has made Cinco de Mayo his own. It's a big boxing day for sports fans, right? That first Saturday in May is a great day for Vegas. You'll have things like a Mayweather fight. You'll have the Kentucky Derby. What's better for a sport like boxing than a sport when fans and gamblers all get together to party? Right, so some of the biggest pay-per-view numbers come from Cinco de Mayo weekend fights. Well, now you have another big draw, Saul Alvarez, right? And his promoter, Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, are talking about reclaiming Cinco de Mayo from Floyd Mayweather. Now the conversation needs to take place because Mayweather has said he only has two fights left. So that is... If he fights in his regular times, right, Cinco de Mayo and in September, that leaves Floyd with one more Cinco de Mayo. Now, let me say this. The sport has really a historical opportunity staring itself right in the face. Canelo was talking about fighting Miguel Cotto. At this point in time, I would argue that there is no bigger draw at Madison Square Garden in New York City than Miguel Cotto, right? Look at the numbers. Cotto doesn't have to speculate on whether he can sell out Madison Square Garden. He has already multiple times, right? Miguel Cotto in New York City is box office magic. We know that. We also know that the biggest draw in boxing is Floyd Mayweather out of Las Vegas? Right? That's obvious. Just look at the pay-per-view numbers. Right? Whether it's Floyd against Canelo or Floyd against Oscar De La Hoya, you're talking about two of the biggest pay-per-view events in the sports history. Right? And so my point to you is simply this. In a sport where you've had very successful promoters, you know, Bob Arum was a giant in boxing when I was a kid in the 1970s. You know, Al Heyman is a giant in music today and has been for a long time, helping promote a host of very successful stars. Right? My point to you is simply this. You think about the biggest events in sport. Right? The Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday. We don't even know who's going to be in the Super Bowl, but you understand Super Bowl Sunday is one of the biggest sports days of the year. Right? The Final Four. We don't know who's going to be in the Final Four, but you know it's a big day. People plan trips around it. The bidding by the networks gets into the billions of dollars. Right? The Indy 500. You don't know who's going to win, but you know that day is a big day. Now, why can't boxing look at other successful sporting events? Look at the possibility of turning Cinco de Mayo into their own day. And literally set up fights in two different time zones. Right? And give fans like us a break where we could purchase the package and then have a early afternoon fight from New York City and then have the 
late night fight from Las Vegas, right? If the various stations can get together with the cable providers and figure out a way to package a New York fight with a Vegas fight and charge us one flat fee, it could be $79.99. Give us a discount. Maybe you can even get together with one of these imaginative companies. Think Tecate Beer, for example. You know, a uh, advertiser who's willing to subsidize events so that they have their ads front and center, right? On the wing of uh, the ring apron, maybe as part of the ring walk, etc. Maybe Michael Buffer says, you know, uh, brought to you by Tecate. Let's get ready to rumble, whatever it is. It seems to me that if boxing can get together and have Canelo fight Miguel Cotto in New York City on Cinco de Mayo, right? Then have Floyd Mayweather fight you fill in the blank, Manny Pacquiao, Amir Khan, in Las Vegas, in the afternoon, excuse me, the late night portion of the telecast. And if you the fight fan after partying to the Kentucky Derby, are able to sit down and see two great fights, right? This would be like championship weekend in football, right? You see the AFC championship, then you sit back and see the NFC championship. If they can pull that off, I'll tell you what, a lot of people are going to get rich. More importantly, you can make things like this an annual event. It doesn't even have to be New York and Las Vegas. You can get other parts of the world involved. Have it rotate. Have the promoters be creative. Instead of New York, make it Canada. Right? John Pascal, Adonis Stevenson, those guys are guaranteed box office. Cross the Atlantic. Make it the United Kingdom. Maybe if they really get their act together. Right? Maybe if Bob Arrow and Oscar De La Hoya can talk to Eddie Hearn. Maybe they can make that Cinco de Mayo a complete boxing day. Have people wake up to a superstar fight in the UK. Then, after that one, after we talk about it and are buzzing, have the New York event kick off. Then as we're buzzing over that, ended with the finale in Las Vegas. Let me say this too. Branded. You know, you think about the Super Bowl. It has a name. I say the Super Bowl, you know you're talking elite football match. Right? I say the Final Four, we understand what we're talking about. I don't have to get into details about the NCAA, college basketball. No, you just give it the big name. Right? The Daytona 500, you know. Oh, Daytona. So, call the event for boxing something special. Right? Sweet Science Saturday, or the May Showcase, or the Cinco de Mayo Showcase. You can even give it numbers, like they do in football. Super Bowl One, Super Bowl Two, Super Bowl Three, etc. Right? Let me point out, too, that if the promoters can't agree because you know the way it is, Right? Some promoters won't work with other promoters. Right? One network doesn't want to work with another network. These uh, fighters are signing network-specific contracts. Okay. Fine and dandy. Understand for Super Bowl One here in the United States, both the AFL's network and the NFL's network carried it. Right? Can't Showtime and HBO pay-per-view reach an agreement that if you're going to have mega fights on Cinco de Mayo, can't they split up 
the mega fights. Right? Box Nation right now in the UK shows fights that happen on both Showtime and HBO. Why not get a few of these media giants involved? And let's make Cinco de Mayo really a day of boxing. Right? Everyone can get paid. Right? A lot of fans would say, hey, you're telling me that if I spend $79.99, I have a day of boxing. I get to see Miguel Cotto and I get to see Floyd Mayweather. Right? I think a lot of fans go for it. It's already a holiday, folks. You already have gamblers getting together. Anyone who's been to Vegas on Cinco de Mayo weekend knows what I'm talking about. It's already a party. Boxing. Make it your party. Why are we here arguing over who owns Cinco de Mayo when it can be owned by all the big names? And think about it too. Really. You know, everyone could benefit from whatever happens. The winner of Canelo Cotto could fight the winner of the Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao fight. Or the Mayweather Amir Khan fight. Or the Mayweather Keith Thurman fight. Let me tell you what would happen if May Day, whatever you want to call it, takes off. Then you're going to have the biggest names in the sport. Vladimir Klitschko, Carl Frotch, doing what they could do to own their part of that day. Right? Fight fans would know that of all the days of the year, this day reliably belongs to the sport of boxing. Right? Now, boxing's really balkanized, it's fragmented. You have a lot of people with a lot of power who, quite frankly, can't talk to each other, refuse to work with each other, right? You have a lot of guys with a lot of game who, for legal reasons, are on the sidelines. Richard Schaefer, I'm talking about you, right? Can't the sport, can't the sport get together and say, hey, let's work this out, right? Cinco de Mayo is a big holiday. There is more than one time zone. There's more than one superstar fight that can happen on that day. But let me warn boxing. Please don't cannibalize the sport. It would be an absolute disaster for the sport, in my opinion, if Superstars can't work it out and decide to have rival matches in the same time zone, in the same city, at the same time. Right? The fans should have an opportunity to see these superstar fights. You can't do it if Floyd is fighting Amir Khan at the MGM Grand while Canelo fights Miguel Cotto at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Boxing's already tried that ridiculous high wire act. It doesn't work. Don't cannibalize the sport. Rather, get in a room, figure it out. Understand. Right? If Fighter A doesn't want to work with Promoter B, well, Promoter B can be involved in the fight at the other location. Right? But let's make... Cinco de Mayo weekend, Boxing's weekend. Let's try to have a couple of big fights and let's remember to make it easy on the consumer. No timing overlap, right? One price, right? Folks don't have to work together except when it comes to figuring out a way to make it easier for the fight fans who make the sport possible. That's my modest proposal. Let me hear yours. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us 
at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.